Check Your Health is sponsored by Intermountain Health and the Utah Department of Health and Human Services. Okay, we have Danielle Conlin here, a registered dietitian nutritionist with the Utah Department of Health and Human Services, to talk about strategies for making healthy habits in the new year. I'm betting resolutions are starting to taper off now. So this is a yes. better idea, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Whenever you're making a healthy habit, the main thing is to make it small, manageable, and find things that work for you. Something that works for your mom, your sister, your dad, your neighbor might not work for you. But so everybody has things. advice. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so you can always try a few things, uh, try other people's advice, and then see what works. What does work? So I would say a few pieces of advice that I just generally give are uh, trying to eat more fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. is always a positive like thing. Like maybe start with one a day? Exactly, yes. The five a day can seem overwhelming. One a day is a lot more manageable. So start small and find what you like. Eat vegetables how you like. If you like dr uh, salads with salad dressing, eat them with salad dressing. Mm -hmm. It's more important that you're eating the fruits and vegetables each day. Yeah, I remember my kids would only eat broccoli if it had the cheese sauce on it. Oh, same. And it's okay, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. Put cheese sauce on it. Exactly. They're getting vegetables. Yes. The most important thing is that you're eating a balanced diet and that you're eating those fruits and vegetables and getting the nutrients in them. And you don't need to be a dietitian to figure this out, right? Well, yes. A lot of it <laughs> are things people know, but it can feel overwhelming of, oh, there's all of these guidelines. How do I start? And I would say the easiest thing to do is start simple and start with things that work for you and feel manageable for you. Okay. Start simple. The baby steps. Exactly. Really. Exactly. And then it becomes a lifestyle and a habit instead of a diet. Exactly. And then as you're used to adding one vegetable a day, you can add in another. Mm -hmm. And then you're eating two vegetables a day and work your way up to that five a day guideline. But it can take time. It doesn't have to be all or nothing and happen overnight. Okay. Some great tips. Thank you so much. Thank and we're going to put those tips on our website. Go to KUTV.com and click on Check Your Health. Lindsay? All right. That sounds good.